on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. When I was trying to find, like just now, I was trying to look up like the article that was being referenced. But I saw a show a long time ago on the Discovery Channel about how um, if someone is aroused, like higher level executive functioning is affected. So like people literally can't make as good of decisions um, when they're in a certain state. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that explains that, but it wasn't like gender specific. So like people, um, man, I'm going to try to find the article and I'll send it to y'all later, but it was on the, it was on a, like a uh, uh, post not clarity is like taking a limitless pill. It's like taking a limitless pill. Like you start to realize all of the different things that you could be accomplishing. It's, it's like you get the fog off of your eyes, everything, bro. Everything is it's like taking a limitless pill and you could just do, you can literally, you can accomplish anything. You hear the police, anyone's Johnson, you can throw your Johnson down the gutter if you want. Some of you guys claim to like women a certain way. You might like her with an extra layer of cheese around her midsection, around her thighs. You might like them slim thick and all of that stuff, but post nut clarity is undefeated. post nut clarity is always going to tell the truth. After you bust, if you don't want that woman to touch you, kiss on you after you bust, all right, you get that nasty nut, guess what? You don't really like women like that. That's your lust talking. In reality, your post nut clarity is going to reveal everything. A lot of you guys are going to give women the keys to your kingdom because you wanted to get a nasty nut. Look, know what your sexual urges are and know what you really like in women. Those are two different things, all right? Post nut clarity is undefeated. All right, shout out to Coach Greg Adams. He says some men claim to like women a certain way, but after they ejaculate, the same woman they claim they like, they don't like because it was their lust talking. Let's talk about that. Uh, start with the gentleman on that one. Really, what are your thoughts about it, sir? And then we'll uh, go around the panel and get everybody's ideas. Is that true? Of course. <laughs> of course, bro. Um, men are hunters, right? And so... When we are in the, when when we're in pursuit, when we're on the hunt, um, I don't know who that is, but mute up. Um, when we're on the hunt and we're in pursuit, you know, we get tunnel vision, <clears throat> so we see what we see and we want what we want, and then for some reason, after you have conquered, <laughs> after you didn't slay it, if you didn't slay it, you. You know what I'm saying? You done drilled her seven ways to Sunday. You done put that woo wop the bam on her. And she down for the count. Everything starts crystallizing. <laughs> like you start looking at simple stuff and things that you overlooked and you tolerated while you was trying to game her, while you was trying to mack her, or while you was trying to get what you was trying to get up out of her. All that stuff crystallizes and again, you start seeing like, dang. I don't like the way that she does this, or I don't like the way that she moves, or she's actually not paying attention to my instruction. Well, all those things, things that you overlook crystallizes. Um, and the funny thing is, uh, you know, Anton has spoke on post nut clarity many a times on this channel. So, um, nah, CGA is, is doing what CGA does and, um, uh, you know, well spoken and and definitely from a man's perspective, one thousand percent correct. Okay, uh, Anton, what are your thoughts about it? I think that um, <laughs> it's absolutely one hundred percent accurate. I think that a lot of guys they 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 vision are clouded. Their vision is clouded when. You know what I'm saying? When they dick is hard. It's just the truth. And then you can really know whether or not you rock with a chick right after. I mean, literally, it's a millisecond. It's like in the same second, you know whether or not you really, really should be around this chick or not, or if she was just a, a chick for the moment. And so I don't even I don't even think it's even limited to. You know, all of the stuff that dudes is willing to deal with, whatever Coach Greg Adams was saying with the cheese around the layer and all of that other type of stuff, I think it's any chick, no matter who she is. It could be a chick that looked great and she just looked great, and but she was just a moment. 99% of all women is just a moment, all of them. 
It's just the truth. I don't I don't see I don't see where he was off on any of that. Not even a what little bit. What are your thoughts, Logic? I'm telling I'm telling like it is in real life. Look, if I think I before I talk to a bitch, if I think I like her, I'm gonna beat my dick. And they see how that conversation go. So like if you ladies, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to know if a dude really like you, have that nigga beat that head and have a conversation. You'll really figure out his level of concern for you. Because the thing is, it don't have to be a hard dick. It could be a potentially hard dick. And then five times out of ten, that's why. And then, you know what? Y'all ladies got to say that. And y'all trigger ladies in the chat. Listen up closely for what I'm finna say. After a man get a nut, if he automatically disconnect from you, and he try to find some type of way, you know what I'm saying, he uses his other phone to call his other phone, or whatever, that means that's that post-nut clarity. This is some shit that niggas know way back in the day. We know how to maneuver it. Now niggas get smarter because we know how to control it now. That if I want to see if I really give a fuck about you, I'm finna beat that head. And if I can have a conversation, you still want to go on a date with you, then it's good. But most of the time, if you don't get that goddamn phone call, that means I beat that head. And you know what? I'm like, damn, do I really want to call her? That shit is real as fuck. I don't know what it is. And I think it's what, I guess it's just what, uh, lust clouds your judgment. And it does. You'll actually go through a lot of shit when you actually is lusting for a nut. Yeah. But once that's over with, you get, you be like, you know what, man? I hate this motherfucker. Or this <laughs> motherfucker really don't be talking about a goddamn thing. And then if you want a nigga to tell you the truth, ask him how you look and all that kind of, anything you want to know after he get a nut. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't, no, ain't no talking. You got to go. I saw a show. You got to go, bro. Hold on, I think Kay, uh, go ahead, Kay. I saw a show a really long time ago and I was trying to find, like just now, I was trying to look up like the article that was being referenced. But I saw a show a long time ago on the Discovery Channel about how um, if someone is aroused, like higher level executive functioning is affected. So like people literally can't make as good of decisions um, when they're in a certain state. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that explains that, but it wasn't like gender specific. So like people, um, man, I'm gonna try to find the article and I'll send it to y'all later, but it was on the, it was on a, like a uh, post nut clarity is like taking a limitless pill. It's like taking a limitless pill. Like you start to realize all of the different things that you could be accomplishing. It's it's like you get the fog off of your eyes. Everything, bro. Everything is it's like taking a limitless pill, and you could just do. You can literally, you can accomplish anything. 